Hi there, my name is Anna DeLopo. I'm a licensed acupuncturist, and the name of my website is Elements in Harmony Acupuncture.com. I've been in practice since 1999, and today we're going to speak specifically to those of you who want a higher libido. And so, this is especially for my fertility clients. Um, so, the reason why I want to make this video, I've done quite a few libido videos already, but this is a very special week. It's February 3rd and um, 2022 and uh, the last few days including today a woman came in she has come in less than a handful of times and um, she and her husband had uh, intimacy time a few days ago and they both said it should always be like that and he feels that it has a lot to do with the acupuncture that she's been receiving um, earlier that day Another one of my fertility clients had um, told me that she, uh, her libido has been on a scale of 1 to 10, a 9, and we've been working towards that. When she first started with me, her libido was at a t 2 for quite a while. So we've been doing acupuncture, we've been doing herbs, and um, her husband is was really shocked at her libido, at her sexual prowess, and I'm very proud of that. And um, so those two are specifically for natural fertility. I have a different client who's not here for fertility, and she, uh, these are all older women, so let's just, just leave it at that. And um, this woman is not here for fertility, but she said, uh, I don't know what you've been doing, but she's been uh, much um, more interested in having sex with her husband. And her husband also was like, who are you? I can't believe who you are. I'm, you know, super amazed. And last week I had posted um, another fertility video. And that was specifically talking about the three pregnant women that I, we had gotten to, uh, three positive pregnancies in two days. I was really happy about that. Two of them IVF, um, all older women, and one of them natural. And the natural one, she is a nurse practitioner, husband is a physician, and we've been working at strengthening her, her libido especially and doing a lot of, you know, the way we think, the way we feel, focusing on, you know, reprioritizing uh, her life and um, what what she really considers to be very important right now. And it became very clear that um, working had to take a step back compared to having her baby. Well, she just kept telling me we were, they went on vacation and she was just um, sending me some updates that they were having a lot of sexy time. Those are her exact words. And that's something that I was pushing and pushing and pushing. And now she's pregnant. And... I have my other videos on IUI and IVF and all that. I wanted to make a video specifically on this particular topic. And I'm very happy because all these 20 plus fertility videos, especially the ones regarding um, intimacy, are paying off. Last year, I know I did a several and um, they were on intimacy and libido and um, sperm, sperm quality and stuff like that. And so they're now finally, I'm, I'm getting the message across to the new mommies and daddies who will, the new people who will be mommies and daddies. And we can, you know, I have you guys writing, I have you listening to audios, I have you reading some books, but at the end of the day, none of that stuff is going to get you pregnant. So if we're focusing on having a baby the way God intended you if you want uh, one of my friends she's actually one of um she's someone that I greatly admire she's in the hair industry she had posted on her website if you want it's her name is Kiara Bailey and she does amazing hair and she ha sells hair lingerie and she sells beautiful hair extensions she posted on her website, uh, she posted on her Facebook page, and I believe in her Instagram, if you want something you've never had, you have to do something you've never done. And, you know, I conceived all three of my children naturally. And I keep saying it over and over and over. I gave birth at 30, 36, and 43. 
And I really believe after 23 years of practice, some of you women have given up on yourselves. Um, you know, I don't mean to offend anyone, but you know, you're not trusting your body and you try, you know, all these different things. But at the end of the day, if you pay attention to just some of my videos and you do just some of the things that I ask you to do, you will find that your libido increases tremendously. I did a, a video regarding how women, studies have shown that women, and you can go through my website. If you text me at 619-341-4341, studies have shown that women, who couples who have uh, sex every few days a week, instead of only during ovulation time, have a higher chance of giving birth. Uh, getting pregnant naturally that's really important data so I just wanted to share that that this is the theme right now the results results are all that matter and what do you think we normally get when we have so much frequent sex I mean I'm seeing it happen I've been seeing it happen for years so I've been practicing since 1999 but 2008 to 2019 I only focused maybe 95 plus percent of my time was on natural fertility. And I will share a little nugget that I shared with uh, the, my fertility clients for the last uh, week, week, couple of weeks. Here's a little, here was our little activity. I want you greeting your husband at the door naked with heels. Or I want you greeting your husband with nothing on uh, or uh, with lingerie and heels. And that's very important. And you don't have to, it doesn't have to lead anywhere. And why am I sharing this? Because sometimes husbands are tired or you're tired, but the mood changes the moment he comes home and he's like, whoa, that's different. And I ask men here, single men, married men, men who are intimate and men who are not intimate, straight men specifically, how would that make you feel? And they said, that would put me in a good mood right away. That would increase my libido right away. Um, a man this week told me, my libido can go from nothing to super high if that happened. And so if you want something you've never had, you have to do something you've never done. And that might seem very daring and very out of your comfort zone, but you're trying to have a baby. And if you keep doing what you've always done, you'll keep getting what you've always got. And if you keep having the same kind of dates and the same kind of sex and, and the same kind of arguments and the same kind of this, you're going to get stagnant, especially over 35 years old. So you got to keep it fresh. You got to keep it alive. And that's one little nugget I shared. And whether you're trying to have a baby or not, how do you think your man will feel if you come home looking like that? If he comes home looking like that, like, wow, you're wearing a new piece of lingerie with heels or nothing with heels or a towel with heels. Trust me, it's highly unlikely that he'll still be in a bad mood. And when he is in a bad mood, when he is grumpy, that's when you got to turn it up a notch. You can't wait till he's in a good mood. So the little analogy I use is if you're in a bad mood or if you're grumpy, you're having a bad day and your husband goes, let's go shopping. Let's go get some ice cream. Let's go get a latte. Let's just go have fun. You'd be like, oh, OK, let's go get some ice cream. Men are very visual. I ask men frequently, how would that make you feel? If your wife or girlfriend were just, you know, let's just keep it just very, so no one feels uncomfortable. How would that make you feel if your wife, the partner you've decided to spend the rest of your life with, greeted you at the door or you came home and she's wearing nothing but an apron and heels cooking. And they'd be like, that would turn me on. So try it okay catch him off his guard do something different i'm trying to make a baby we are working on making a baby do something different we're not talking about iui you're not talking about ivf right now we're talking about natural natural conception and if there's anything i know about is that and god gave me a baby at 43 and i think it was so that i can bring home the message that if you can please your husband and you can not just think about yourself and do what it takes to make him happy. You don't always, it doesn't always have to lead to sex. It can just be being together and making him feel happy. And there are a million ways you can please your husband. It doesn't always have to have 
there's something that happens in a man's psyche if he knows that you're having sex just to have a baby. Every he's gonna feel it. I've asked many men. Yeah, it hurts. I feel like a tool. I feel like she just wants to have sex with me to have a baby, and it's a lot of work. So, do you want that kind of sex, or do you want the kind of intimacy where it's just you're just trying to really be with your husband, and you want to have fun? That's the message: have sex to have fun, not to get it done. And so, if you're having a good time and you're just cuddling and you're looking, you know, you got to get over your self-image. He married you for a reason. He's with you for a reason. If you're not as slim as you used to be, or not as slim as you want to be, or you just don't think you're, you know, like whatever, like a supermodel, get over it. If he wanted that, he would have married that. He wants you, obviously. And so jealousy is not going to help. Creating arguments out of the blue is not going to help. Just focus on him. And if he's tired, okay, you can still walk around naked. You can still put on lingerie, you know, and put on a robe. It's different though than walking around in pajamas. Promise me, I promise you. So the moment, so you just do this until you pop that baby. Trust me, it looks sexy. It looks he's gonna be happy, and his libido will go from zero to ten in a heartbeat. And if he says, "Well, I don't really feel like doing it," okay, you can still walk around looking hot and sexy in heels and nothing. So I hope you get the point.、Um, I want this to work for you. But I can't. The, like I said in my other videos, there's no sperm in the needles. There's absolutely no sperm in the needles. So as much as I treat you and give you all this energy, when you're feeling hot and heavy and you're ready to go, just you know what did I say? The three H's: healthy, happy, horny. Healthy, happy, horny. Healthy, happy, horny. And that will help you make a baby. All right. So if you want to visit my website, it's Elements in Harmony Acupuncture dot com. I try to keep this as clean as possible.、Um, I just did a video recently on. Um, the scents that arouse men that was published. I believe it was the Neurological Society of、um, uh, the American Society of Neurology and Orthopedics. I believe you, you can go to that website. Then the articles there. It is、uh, published scientific in a scientific manner, and it's not just a regular website.、Um, and there's some other videos. There's a Do a dirty baby video. There's a hot sex video. All these I'm talking, I'm talking, and I'm hoping that you get the message. If you're a fertility client, you gotta watch my fertility videos every day, one to three videos a day. If your man is over 35 and his and his sperm level, quality, quantity, the morphology, motility, mobility is on the lower side. It's not on the higher side. Not medium. I'm talking about high. Then he really needs to come see me and do herbs. Or he at least needs to go to some kind of store, at least a GNC or Whole Foods or Mother's Market or somewhere, and start looking into taking some supplements to help him to help with his testosterone. If he doesn't feel comfortable coming to see me, then he needs to go somewhere. In my practice, men are required to come in four times a month, and so if you're not pregnant yet in a year, you're not following my protocol, and I'm very sorry if you're not pregnant yet. And no, you can't force men to do anything. But you got to see if you're on the same page. If you're over thirty-five, you have to be very honest because if you're just letting time go and he's not paying attention to a sperm analysis and he's not asking his doctor or whatever type of you know Western medical doctor, naturopath, or acupuncturist, or chiropractor, or whoever, if he's not trying to figure out an herbalist or you know anyone in the nutrition field, if he's not trying to increase his quality of sperm. And he's leaving it to you to do all the work. You can see my the one of the videos that I posted. The studies are there. It's on the Mayo Clinic. It's on you know PubMed, National Institutes of Health. A third of the issue is a woman. A third of the issue is a man. And a third of the issue is both men and women. So, man has to be here. Husband has to be here. It takes two to make a baby, not just the egg. We need to make sure the sperm is strong, and that you guys can. Create the baby together, okay? I, you know, I've made easily over twenty plus fertility videos, and you need to watch those, you know, especially the ones regarding sex, and especially the ones regarding daddy, because we need strong sperm. So the next Qigong class is going to be,、um, let me just share this with you. It's going to be at February. I believe it is February twenty. 
Sunday. Um, I sent out a newsletter. We're going to be doing our deliberate creation. If you missed the fertility circle that I do once a year, you might want to come to the deliberate, uh, deliberate creation. We're going to be doing that. That circle will be done in the morning at 9 a.m. at the beach. And then we're going to do Qigong at 10 a.m. This is open to everyone, not just fertility. We'll be really working on what we want to accomplish. It's February. It's long after all those people who said, I, this is my um, New Year's resolution. We're really going to make sure we're doing the action steps to create the goals that we want. So that's going to be in a different video, but I'm just putting that little plug in. So for those of you whose libido are way, is, uh, your libido is way off the charts, congratulations to you. You're paying attention to my videos. You're going to my private pages. You're doing the tasks. You're texting me every day. If you're not texting me every day, you're not doing the job. If you're not doing Qigong every day, you're not doing your job. If you're not writing me every day, if you're not doing your writing, you're not doing the job. Five minutes a day will change your life forever. And if you think, wow, that's so much work to make a baby. If you're over 35 and you haven't made a baby yet, um, you might want to consider if you're not pregnant yet with me in six months to a year, follow the protocol. Those who don't follow the protocol aren't getting pregnant. Okay. Those who do not follow the protocol are not getting pregnant. I, I spell this all out. Mom, mommy and daddy have to be here. And there are so many things you need to do. Five minutes a day will change your life forever. Five minutes a day will change your life forever. But you know what will change, will truly change your life forever? Having amazing sex. And make sure the sperm is strong. I need that sperm super, super strong. It's not just about your quality of eggs. It's about his quality of his sperm. All right. Have a great day. Well, Elements in Harmony, acupuncture.com is my website. You'll see there are three sections, the fertility, pregnancy, and uh, prepare, preparation for birth section. And then there's an internal health section. And then there's also the pain section. Happy New Year. Happy Chinese New Year. For those of you who want to have dinner with us tomorrow night, Capital Seafood at 7.30 p.m. Um, at Irvine Spectrum, please uh, PM me. Uh, payments were uh, due yesterday, Wednesday the 2nd, but if you still want to join, then text me at 619-341-4341. You have my website, you have my cell phone, office number, go straight to my cell phone. Office number is 949-305-1703. The cell phone, you can text anytime at 619-341-4341. It's a private number, it's a business number, and you can text that number. All right, take care and have a great night.